Welcome to Feed Dump, where this week we are bands that we, well, love, like, sure, we're bands. This week, I'm Tame Impala, and I was all excited to talk about their new album that's coming out, but then I read that it's not coming out until July, and now I'm all sad. <sighs> Joining me this week are the Smiths. My favorite food. I don't know. What do you have that's bland, white, and not terribly challenging? And craft work. V R C Germans. C Germans. Police in Barrie, Ontario, arrested a man after he was found roaming a residential neighborhood at 2 a.m. this week, claiming that he would come back next full moon as a werewolf to get his revenge. I can just see this guy's public defender being like, we're going to need you to back off on the whole werewolf thing. Just for a little while. What's a werewolf doing in Barrie, Ontario? It's like the most boring place in Canada. Are you kidding? There's like... A billion more boring places to be in Canada than Barry, Ontario. Do they have werewolves too? I have the feeling that adding werewolves makes a place inherently interesting, at least briefly. Visit scenic Barry, Ontario. Come for the werewolves. Then leave, also for the werewolves. Note, werewolves fictional. When police arrested the man, they found out he was on probation and had orders not to consume drugs or carry weapons. He was arrested because he violated both of those probation orders. What kind of drugs does a werewolf take? And how much? Straight up two cups of blow, but you don't want to be around when the lycanthropy wears off mid-bump. Your head just detonates. And that's why they call it blow. An Arizona woman was sentenced to three and a half years in prison this week for running over her husband with the family car because he didn't vote in the 2012 presidential election. Thanks, Obama. Well, with good behavior, she'll be out in time to vote in the next election. Actually, Kim? Because the lady in question here, one Holly Nicole Solomon, age 31, pled guilty to two counts of aggravated assault. That makes her a class three felon in Arizona, and those people can't vote. Thanks, Obama. Actually, Alex, if I can just permit myself one more delicious nugget of irony in this story, um, this lady was mad at her husband because he didn't vote, and she was afraid Obama would get reelected, and that would be bad for their family. But it didn't matter because Romney won Arizona's electoral college votes anyway. Well, at least the guy who got run over now has access to Obamacare. Thanks, Obama. Hello. Do you want to play a game? Oh, hell no. Well, tough. It's time to play. Cam, Cam and Alex have, have to figure out what Kathleen is talking about. about. What is she talking about? I don't know. This it's, is every week. I can't read her at all. No, I don't know what's going on and I'm afraid. What made a Georgia man so angry he drove his truck from his front yard to his backyard by way of his living room? He finally realized that nothing in life is truly permanent. A squirrel ran into the house. A critical misreading of Obamacare. Episode 6 of Season 5 of Game of Thrones. Bees! Eminent Domain. Wrong, 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 wrong and very wrong. The man actually gave people a variety of reasons, but the one he told uh, local CBS affiliate WGCL was that it was just one of those wild and crazy spur of the moment things. Like you do. No, that I actually understand. Coming from a man who pauses in front of every baby stroller to wonder what would happen if I just vomited directly into it, I get you. Wait, that means I was correct. He's just a nihilist. What do I win? Well, Alex, as the official quiz mistress of Feed Dump, I'm going to give you a half point max for that. It wasn't quite a match. Uh, but if you must have a prize, you can win the pride of understanding a crazy man from Georgia. Ironic if you ask me that being a nihilist is actually a lot of work and very expensive. On the bright side, free air conditioning. Also, a bunch of free mental health assessments. That's not nothing. It's good for the economy. A job was created. A job keeping that man from driving through houses. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nihilism, the leading job creator in America's economy. Or whatever. It is as Camus said, life is absurd, meaningless, ultimately futile in the face of an enormous and uncaring universe that does not even perceive our existence. <laughs> it's my favorite Obama meme! Oh, I love that one. He's so photogenic. Well, we're not going to top that uplifting moment, I don't think so. We're just going to call this episode to a close. But remember, there may be better sources of news, but they don't have this hat, 
which appeared mysteriously in an unlabeled bag at the moon base door and is terrifying. But according to the label on the inside, it comes from Ye Old Victoria Pimpid Hat Co. by K. Kennedy, proprietress. So, there we go. It's like steampunk pimp. I feel Victorian and yet bad. From home repair to hellfire missiles, back to home repair again. We keep America's economy afloat for reasons we don't fully appreciate or care about.